Let's talk about something controversial. <laughs> Veganism and vegetarianism. Now, I know there are multiple different types. You have, like, raw vegetarianism. And, and then you have the vegetarians that think they can eat fish. And it's like, that's a meat. That's a meat. I even met one who sat there and told me that fish was a vegetable. That that day, I just, I didn't even bother arguing with her. It's like, no, nope, no. Nope. If you think fish are a vegetable, then I'm sorry. You're beyond help. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. First note on that is, if you think fish are... A vegetable, you're wrong. Fish are not a vegetable. <laughs> they never were, and they never will be. They're meat. <laughs> so that's the first thing to say. Fish, not a veggie. <laughs> so yeah, if you're eating them and you call yourself a vegan or a vegetarian, you no, know, you're doing it wrong. Fish is not a vegetable. I'm gonna say is, contrary to what a lot of people are saying today and a lot of easily accessible media has been saying, that doesn't have much support behind it, actually. Vegetarianism and veganism, especially veganism, is not healthy. Unless, unless, you take extra nutrients or supplements or added things that you add into your food or pills or whatnot. You know, extra supplements. Like, you know, that powdered stuff and then you have the fiber stuff you can stir in your drink, which... I'm pretty sure as a vegan you probably don't need more fiber in your life. But still, that kind of stuff. Things you can add. <laughs> Because simple, you miss out on a lot of nutrients if you live off a vegan or vegetarian diet. There's a lot of things you can only, only get from meat and dairy. A shit ton of stuff. Especially if you don't get a lot of sun, because guess what? One of the best places to get vitamin D besides the sun. So, for someone like me, milk. <laughs> and I don't have an issue with that, because I probably drink more milk than I should. I go through about uh, six four-liter jugs a week. Yeah, I go through a lot of milk. <laughs> and one of those is a chocolate milk jug. I like my milk. So yeah. You need meats. You need dairies. Unless you take supplements to make up for the fact that you're not taking them. And why does my shirt look like if it's off angle on this camera? That's so weird. Maybe it's my necklace. I don't fucking know anymore. Weird shirt. Goddamn weird shirt. But anyway. You miss out on a lot of supplements and whatnot. But really, if you want to be vegan or vegetarian, it's your own fucking choice. I would just highly, highly, highly recommend doing lots of research. And don't just rely on what the newscast says or what easily accessible things say. Go further than that. Look up actual scientific studies. And not just one. And avoid anything that is biased. Whether you're arguing for or against it, don't go with biased sources. They will get you nowhere. They're biased. You cannot not trust their opinion. You can take some of what they say to heart if it's proven by someone who is not biased. And also, if you're going off studies, make sure it's studies that have been proven. You know, it has been attempted more than once. You know, it's been validated. So yeah, but again, it's your choice. I'd recommend getting a nutritionist. I highly would. And getting supplements and little things to throw into your food if you want to go with that. And then, of course, I've heard a lot of there's people who can't be vegetarian or vegans. And you know what? That's probably true. Because guess what? Whilst you have things like um, protein allergies, you know, basically being allergic to meat, there's vegetable ones too. There is vegetable intolerances. Those are a real thing. There are people who are actually have an intolerance towards vegetables. So some people actually cannot physically eat just vegetables and fruits. It will make them sick. It'll make most people sick, unless you take nutrients and supplements. But these people, it doesn't matter if they take supplements or not, they will get sick. They will not feel well, they will be ill all the time. So if you have a veg vegetable intolerance, don't even try <laughs> vegetarian and veganism. Though I don't know why you would if you had a vegetable intolerance, considering that's kind of what veganism and vegetarianism is. Fruits and veggies. Now, since I'm doing a talk about, you know, eating habits, I might as well talk about my own eating habits. Now, obviously, I'm not vegan or a vegetarian at all. Now, my eating habit is basically I eat mostly meat and dairy. I eat very little to no fruit or veg. I do not drink coffee. I do not drink pop. I do not drink water. I only drink tea, milk, and alcohol. Food-wise, I'll eat any meat, all meat, fish, lamb, beef, veal, what have you, pork. 
I'll eat all of it. I'll eat any of it. It all tastes freaking amazing. Though when it comes to meat, I like my steaks done blue. Just because the rarer the better. But only with certain meats. I mean, come on. <laughs> Some meat you just don't do that with. And dairy, well, I just told you how much milk I drink. <laughs> I drink a lot. And that's not the only dairy I get. I also have ice cream, yogurts, cheeses, that sorts of stuff. I eat a lot of noodles, too. Probably the only place I ever get fruits or veg is, like, the herb sauces and stuff like that. Garlic sauces. Like, garlic mashed potatoes, I'll eat that. So, I get, you know, potato. And, of course, I eat cereal, which has got grains in it. So, you've got that. So, I do get some fruit and veg. I only eat, like, salted cucumber. But not much in the way of that. So yeah, meat, dairy, and a little tiny amount of vegetables or fruit. That is my diet. And guess what? It's perfectly fucking healthy. According to both nutritionists and doctors, and the fact that I don't ever get sick. Because <laughs> my health is bloody great. Which is kind of weird, because when you talk to a lot of people, my health should apparently be absolutely horrible. Because apparently it's not possible to be really healthy when you only get less than four hours of sleep every night. And only eat meats and dairies. <laughs> Apparently it's not possible to be healthy like that. But guess what? I'm the most healthiest person in my entire bloody family. I'm the only person who virtually never gets sick. I haven't been sick in a ridiculously long time. Yeah, I think the last time I was sick was like grade 8. I don't get sick. Closest I get to getting sick is like having a headache. <laughs> or an upset stomach from eating something that had gone bad. Seriously, do not eat overdue eggs, especially if they taste funny. Don't touch them. They will make you sick, and it don't feel good. <laughs> yeah, don't. <laughs> so yeah. And I'll last comment on vegetarian veganism. We were not meant to. We evolved to be able to eat fruits and veggies. We did not evolve to eat meats, we evolved to eat fruits and veggies. There's a common misconception I hear fairly often. I hear pretty often vegans and vegetarians saying that we evolved to eat meat. We are naturally meant to eat fruit and veggies. No, actually, it's the exact opposite. We evolved to eat fruit and veg, simply because it was more easily available. You could make it, basically. That's a lot easier than having to run really goddamn fast and spear a deer. It's a lot easier to just wait a little bit and then they'll pop out of the ground and then you eat it. That's a lot easier. Or walk around and pluck it off a tree. That's a hell of a lot easier than chasing an animal and spearing it. So we evolved to eat fruits and veg. At first, it just made everybody straight up sick. That's all it did at first was make people throw up make people get sick. Some people die from it. Especially people who ate the wrong item. <laughs> so yeah, we evolved to eat fruits and veg. We are naturally meant to eat mostly meat. And the same thing goes with dairies, actually. Milk? We can't naturally eat milk once we are no longer children. We evolved to be able to drink milk. Milk? Lactose intolerance? Yeah, that's not actually abnormal. That's actually the way we are normally are. It's just, in our society, milk has become so popular that over time we just all evolved to be able to drink milk. And then there's the few people who can't. So now it's seen as weird when really, originally, it was normal. So yeah, vegetarianism, veganism, not healthy for you, really. Unless you take supplements or nutrients and whatever shit you throw in. It is not our natural diet. It never was, and it never will be. <laughs>